So here I've got four years of comparative data that I've imported from Excel, and I'm going to show you how to use our custom reporting module. I won't look at templates just yet. We're starting with the basics. So what you'll notice is you can't re remove reports which have been published. It's your first thing. So if you do publish something, just realize that it's gonna stay there forever, essentially. Now, if I wanted to add a report, I've got two options. I've got my basic reports, and then I've got my paid reports, my paid financial reports. With the basic reports, you can see that you're going to need a template. Now, all of these are templates that I've created, and all of these are contextual with the entity that we're dealing with, which in this case is a company. So the reports are contextual with the entity type that you're dealing with. Now, instead of using one of my custom templates, I will simply use a logic template. And we have two basic logic templates that you start with for each entity type. You've got a basic financial reporting template, which in this case is for trading entities. And then you've got one for non-trading. The difference between the two is that with the trading entity one, you're going to get your cost of goods section. So let's start with this one. Now, of course, you could change that to something like financial reports. And this is the very basic use case. Noting that we're getting a director's declaration filled, Anna Doe and AJ Doe and Diane Doe, because we've got our relationships filled. So back into that report. We've also got a compilation report embedded in here. And this has got a signatory as well, which in this case is me, because I am the principal of this accounting firm. And so if I was to see where that signature is coming from, There it is. So you can see I can upload my signature here and that will show up for use and duty in building out that report. Now here, as I said, it's got a trading account and you can see the trading account goes in that typical fashion, trading revenue, direct costs. So usually you would use this type of report for anything that's got revenue. Any anytime you don't have revenue because you've just got simply investment income, for example, other revenue types like investment income, then you don't need to use the trading report. So be aware of those two different types. I'll show you what I mean and you can see what this will look like. So let's add a non trading entity. also for the 22 year. And what do we have now? You can see there's no trading account. There's still a, there's still a statement of comprehensive income. And of course, what that will show is it'll simply show your gross profit. And you can see it will pick up the cost of goods. Now it's up to you how you present this because you may well decide, you may well decide to roll this up. I mean, obviously in this case, you wouldn't want to use this non-trading report type. It would be more for this kind of setup where there's no trading revenue and no direct costs. So I'll just save that as a different kind of report. So I've changed this to no trading. And let's give that a try. We'll import straight over the top of what we've already got there. No need to even delete. No trading. And of course, 
course now you don't have any revenue and you don't have any direct costs. So in that case, you'll see what you will get here if I add that trading non-trading entity back in. Right, so no trading account and you've just got other revenues. Of course, you could just change this to revenue. So just click into it and you can change that. Click into it. And we've got our change and you'll see that the total updates there. So now you've got revenue with your different types of revenue, total revenue, no trading account.